Hello and welcome to another video. On uh, this video, I'm gonna talk about a little bit about Windows uh, Communication Foundation. Uh, so it just stands for WCF. If you do a Google search WCF, uh, one of the first results it's from MSDN. So this is where we're gonna start. And this is the place where you need to uh, why watch uh, videos on how to get started so in this video I'm gonna show you from scratch uh, how you can get started uh, if you need more details just go back to this MSDN and you'll see uh, why WCF is so helpful in exchanging data from all kinds of places so what I'm gonna do is go to file main uh, new project and I'm gonna pick the net 4 and WCF and I'm gonna pick WCF service library I'll just change this for hit OK still go working so if you're gonna watch this video make sure you have time with you because I'm starting from zero it's still creating creating successful okay I think that's it so when you first open your project this is how it's gonna look so we're open I'm gonna see show you the files that you have there's two files i service and the service file so well what i'm gonna do is using the notes as you can see here there's a comment here that you can rename uh this i this interface so as you can see it has an i capital i for interface so we're gonna rename this so double click on it right click and you should get a menu and it should be refactor so it's right here refactor rename so this is what you're gonna call your interface on this demo we're gonna work on creating a calculator service so I'm gonna call it I calculator service like that then we're gonna click uh, next I'm gonna click next and next on your Visual Studio it might look different that refactor but that's the main thing that you can rename it and just hit next or finish when you get the little wizard now after that um, as you can see the refactor actually did what I was gonna do manually that is rename this other class that I have here or the actually the template has on so if we open that file there it's a class like nothing fancy but it's just a class that you make up usually it's good to keep the same type of name and uh, but you can see it's, it's using the interface so we're going to hear it whatever the interface has on we're going to go back to this file first because this is the starting point I'm going to hide this and go through the code here so as you can see here I'm going to hide this one too for right now so as you can see here you first uh, we need to do at least on this template this is done it for you but this first section uh, this interface uh, is the name that you pick and one of the attributes that you need to assign is the service contract and what that is it as you can see in the little note indicates that an interface or a class defined as a service contract in the application 
basically what it means is what kind of service uh, you're going to be doing so this is a service contract and uh, what's inside of this service contract is uh, on this example there's two one very simple called get data it takes an integer and it returns a string okay change that and then as you can see it has an attribute but this one is operation contract so basically what you're saying here is uh, on my service I'm gonna be having this type of uh, operation and the same thing goes with this one but this one uh, this operation contract is more complicated so we're gonna see that in a moment As you can see, there's a, a custom class called Compulsive Type. So basically, that's the, you're, you're gonna allow to get data of this type, and for that, you need to make a create a class of that type with that name. And on this one, you're gonna have to add this attribute called Data Contract. And as you can see, it's just a basic properties here we got two properties with the same attribute data member one is just a string one is just a boolean so we're gonna hold this uh, at least this class for our next video on this one we're gonna do a calculator so on our service I want to allow people to call my service and through soap services or so uh, protocol they can submit on two numbers and my service will return the results so to do this we're gonna do the same thing as above we're gonna um, add this uh, attribute and here we're gonna say that we're gonna return a double and we're gonna call this add and we're gonna take two integers so the first is number first number another integer called number two and that's it I'm using I'm using a uh, a tool for Visual Studio, as you can see, it is telling me that I should just rename the arguments differently. And this tool that I'm using, it's called, I think I have it somewhere in here. Um, it's called ReSharper, C Sharp, ReSharper. Where did I have it? Actually, I can just right click on here and it's going to come up. Well, I'll show you that adding for BC Studio later on. So as you can see, that's all you need to do on your interface. Uh, now, if I run this, it's gonna fail. As you can see, there's, it won't run. It says that the service calculator, or actually calculator service, does not does not implement interface member add. So what that means is that it's in the interface, but our service, which is in the other file, uh, does not have or does not uh, have a method to actually use it. So we have an interface with it, but how we're gonna how we're gonna use it, or how we're gonna publish it out. So what we're gonna do is go back to the bottom. And say public double add, and then we're gonna say integer number one, number two, like that. As you can see, it has the same name naming, which is just double add, same as this one, double add number one, number two. So that's how you do 
and then of course all you do now is just return the results back to uh, the client so we can just do number one plus number two save it and as you can see now we probably can run it takes a while still going And one of the nice things about this uh, template that we have is that we have this WCF test client on your library that you're building. It does it for you. You don't have to do anything to get this little amp or you just run it. And as you can see here, there's three uh, public uh, services or contract service that we have and one of them is add that's the one we just did which is this add so to test it out all you do is double click it and as you can see there's the two arguments number one number two that you're seeing from here and it takes uh, it tells you what kind of value you need to pass which is an integer so we're just gonna pass 10 and 2 and you click this invoke should wait a few more seconds as you can see now we got the value return which is 12 and it's a double like we specify so very easy to use 109 so obviously you can add to the service another uh, function called subtract, multiply, and so on, and then you can create your own service. So I'm gonna stop this now. Now we're gonna not gonna add more uh, uh, operations to this. Obviously, you can add more. Just copying this guy and and doing subtract and multiply. Now what I'm going to do is show you how you can use this uh, WCF service that you just made but from a client because this is just a, uh, your service. Now we're going to see how you can call it from a, from your, a different application. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a new project and this time it's going to be a Windows console. I'm just going to click OK. And this is, I'm going to pretend this is our client that is going to call our service we just made. So to do that, you need to add reference, add service reference, and you're going to click on that. And it's very easy. What you do is click Discover. In this case, since it's in our local uh, solution. And as you can see here, we should see uh, the service we just made. And we call that service calculator service. And that's the interface. So we're going to click that. Uh, we'll just click our add cal. That's it. Just keep it simple. And that's it. As you can see, it did add other namespaces for this project, and we have the reference right here. So to use it, all you need to do is go here and add uh, using console, which is the one you're using, your current uh, project, that service cal. And that's all you need, and to actually use it, all you need to do is say now um, cal equals new we're gonna say calculator service client and there's some parameters but on this one we're just gonna leave it blank because we only have one and then here all you need to do is we're gonna do console that 
right we'll say cal dot and as you can see that's where remember that we had two by default which is get data and get data using data contract and the one we did was add so we're gonna add 20 plus 30 something simple and here we're just gonna say uh, reline so when we run it it will at least we will see that result so actually we can just make it nicer we can say 20 plus 30 equals like that so all you do now is hit start debugging oops forgot a step over here I'm gonna cancel this we need to go to this uh, project we have here since we have two so we're gonna click console application and right click and say set a startup project click that one now hit uh, debug so if it works it's gonna add 20 plus 30 hopefully so as you can see the service we just made is working perfectly 20 plus 30 equals 50 so hopefully this will give you an idea how you can start uh, playing around with WCF and if you have more uh, questions go back to the MSDN library it has a lot of videos that you can watch on this I'm not gonna play this one but there's a lot of videos and beginners guide that will help you more on this subject so thank you for watching this video